Good evening, we're at the Gadong Street Food Market. This is our second day in Brunei and we're going to spend the whole evening looking around and seeing what we can find. So let's go explore because we are starving. So we're starting off with a nasi katak. This comes like bundled up, so this is like a real on-the-go portion. Get some chicken, rice, <laughs> tiny bit of sambal. The chicken skin is just so crispy. The rice is perfectly cooked. Then you've got that little bit of sambal just for the chili taste. So nice. Good first start. Mm. So I read a story about the origin of Nasi Katak. Apparently a weary traveller came to the capital in search of food, but nowhere was open. Only one owner let him in, but the only ingredients that the owner had left was chicken, rice and sambal. He put that together and that created Nasi Katak. So I don't know how true that is, but it's a cool story. So I really wanted to try the roti john when we were in Malaysia, but we didn't get a chance to. So we went for it here. There was a mama john and a papa john, but he only had the papa john available, which is the big one. So it's quite hard to unwrap, but as you can see, it's cut up into like little tiny sections. So each one is like a perfect mouthful. It's so hot and fresh. I was a little bit, mm, I wasn't sure what the omelette inside a sandwich would be like, but actually, it works really nicely. It's really crispy. Got a little bit of a taste of chicken in there. Then you've got the nice sauces. <laughs> I was gonna say it's a delicious little snack, but it's quite it's a big massive. snack. <laughs> We're definitely not gonna finish all of this. Oh, it's so warm. Mmm, that is delicious. Surprise, surprise, Matt's got another favourite. <laughs> that's amazing, that's, that's so oh, no, nice. So that's like one of my favourite sandwiches. What? We just need a vlog of you saying this is my favourite thing I've ever eaten. <laughs> I can't go over how nice that was. I don't think it'd be that nice. Mm. How much was that? Two dollars? Two fifty. Two fifty. That could feed me for like a week. Mm -hmm. oh, wow, Rotty John. Amazing. <laughs> wow. Hello. Hello. What happened to you guys? Is it chicken? It's chicken. Yeah. How much for one? Like, how much one for dollar for pieces. For four? Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah. Good. Yeah. You want one dollar? Yes, please. You want the cup or plastic? Uh, the cup with the sauce is good. Okay. Yes. Let's mix the sauce, right? Yeah, thank you. So I've wrestled the bag off Lori because I know she really wanted to try this one first. But it's satay chicken with the sauce in a cup. It looks so good. The uh, guy working at the stall is still looking at me, so I'm, I'm a bit nervous. I don't like it, but let's get straight in. Very nice, very nice. <laughs> really good. So, so nice. I've said it before and I'll say it again. Does satay ever let you down? It doesn't. I need okay so I saw this I've seen several videos <laughs> that I haven't stopped thinking about since we left the UK basically it included some sort of pancake filled with chocolate and cheese which sounds like a strange combination but they're literally my two favorite foods ever 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 so yeah I think it's I think it's time I think it's time to do it <laughs> So we've just sat down with this one, 
because I feel like it could get messy pretty quick. To say this is a small one, it's super heavy. So it was basically pancake, batter, sugar, chocolate, cheese, condensed milk. So hot, oh my gosh. It's so hot, I can't even bite it. <laughs> yeah, so predominantly I've got chocolate there, but... Okay, yeah, I've got the cheese. I feel like I can't tell... It's not unpleasant, by the way. It is good. I just can't tell which one's more predominant. So, like, at one point you'll taste the chocolate more, at one point you'll taste the cheese more. Like, they're so different. It's like you can taste the two different things in your mouth. I don't know, it's a weird one to explain. Overall, like it, don't like it? Mm. I do like it because it's obviously cheese and chocolate. I can't really taste any cheese in it. I can just taste chocolate. So it's just like a really doughy, chocolatey pancake, which is obviously delicious. Could you tell any cheese? Maybe a little bit of cheese, but like not that much. I don't know, it's a weird one, but it's good. Overall, very nice. Way better than I thought it would be. How traditional this is, I don't know, but who cares, it's delicious. Um, is it Chendol? Yes, Chendol. Yeah, yes, please. How do you, you make Chendol? We were in uh, Penang. Ah. Yeah, so we tried the Chendol there. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. One dollar. One, thank you. Is it nice? Uh, is it nice? Yeah. 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 She would say that, it's her stall. <laughs> How do you like it? Yeah. Okay, thank, thank you so you. much. Thank so you. Much. Impressing the locals with my knowledge of Chendol. <laughs> So I saw this um, when I was doing some research. So it's basically like a chendol drink. So we had the dessert in Penang. Um, so it's coconut milk, but then it's sort of got the little rice jellies in. Mm. Quite refreshing actually. Not overly coconut. And I didn't think that I was particularly gonna like the little jelly noodles. Actually, they're okay, they melt pretty quickly in your mouth. They're a lot softer than the actual uh, ones that you get in Chendol. Very cooling, definitely needed that, especially in here because it's super smoky and super busy now. I love it here. There's so much choice, we just don't know what to go for next. One of our favourite things to do when we get to a city is to explore via the food markets, especially a night market, so we're having a great time. What are these? Rice. Yeah. Okay. Uh, this one is like red rice. Red rice, sticky rice. Uh, can I have two of those? One, one. Let's try different types. Is that, is that the right ones? There's too much choice. Thank you. All right, we've got a mix match of a few things. Okay. Let's go find a seat so we can sort of work through these methodically. Matt's only sat here because we drive by the road to John store again. I love Rotty John so much. <laughs> But we're not here to talk about Roti John. We're here to talk about some traditional desserts. Do you like that segue? That I do. So, lost track of the names a little bit for these. So we're just gonna work through them and then if you know what they are in the comments, please tell us. So we've got a variation. There's four of these for $1. And we've got different ones. So let's have a look. So this just looks like sticky rice in a bamboo leaf. Not gonna lie, a little bit underwhelming. There's a touch of sweetness there, but it just is sticky rice. Could do like some sauce or something with that maybe. Sorry if that's really offensive, but I'm not sure. <laughs> Go for a different one. So this is slightly different. I'm sure it's got like little brown specks in it, like maybe little bits of red rice. That one's got a touch more flavor to it. I like that one a little bit more. The texture is really delicious of both. It just is not that much taste of the first one, but the second one, a little bit more flavour to it. So yeah, traditional rice desserts. A little bit underwhelming for me, but can't win them all. Earlier I saw some cheese tofu, like on a stick, sort of like satay, which Matt said he's also seen when he was researching food to try, except no, we can't find it. Like the market's big, it's not that big, 
but it has gone missing. So yeah, we're gonna try and find it wherever it is. Let's go. Hello. We have one barbecue, please. Anything else? Uh, no, that's it. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. So my feelings about tofu are that I'm not I'm not that keen on it. However, I do like cheese, so maybe that will change things. This one's a barbecue cheese, so it's got a little bit of barbecue sauce on there. Thoughts, feelings, emotions? Mm. A similar consistency to tofu, a little bit firmer, but then it has got like this sort of liquidy cream texture as well, like some of the cheese is melted. The barbecue sauce is ever so slightly spicy. It's better than I thought, yeah, definitely. And I would much rather cheese tofu over normal tofu. Okay, thank you. Oh, perfect. Thank you very much. I don't think I've ever had a blue vanilla drink, but I'm about to. I think that's full of E numbers. <laughs> yeah, that's what to think about it. Oh, wow. Good. To be honest, I was a bit sceptical with the colour, but it just tastes like sugar and condensed milk. <laughs> Definitely going to be high practical later. <laughs> like way better than you think it's going to be. Oh, that's nice. Are that's gonna, so... Are we going to get blue tons? Oh, yeah, <laughs> A little bit, maybe. Oh, I needed that so much. I'm so warm. That's that unbelievably good. So the stalls here are starting to close up now. So we're going to head back to our accommodation. We've had quite a lot, so we feel like it's a good time to finish eating now yeah. before we get sick. But amazing food market. Really, really nice. We've had yeah. a great time. Yeah. And this also brings a end to our time in Brunei as well. So sad. I think it's exceeded expectations. Yeah. We've had a really good time here, so. Yeah, we've had a great time. It's, you know, we've had some great food, met some lovely, lovely people, and I don't know, we've just had just a, it's such a good time, haven't we? We've had a great time. So we're going to sign off here, and then we'll see you soon.